Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a while since I updated the videos with Magic Map Material Maker, so we're going to be doing a whole tutorial series, and I'll be going over as fast as possible different things. And in this one, we're going to be going over how to get started with the project, the different biome presets, some performance options, and setting up the material on a brand new map with virtual height field mesh so we can get some displacement in Unreal Engine 5 how to change the quality of that on the new map too. Okay, so let's get started. Here we are in the default map that loads up with Magic Map Material Maker. And by default, we're using the island preset because, well, this is the island map. To change the biomes and performance preferences and all of that uh, really quick, what you want to do is find this icon on the default map, this M3BP Magic Map Material, click on it or you can just click on it up here in the outliner. And in here in the details panel, you'll see that there is terrain biome preset and performance preferences. And we have three different biomes that we can select from and we got a whole bunch of different paint layers and all that too, but these are the main biomes to start with. So let's go ahead and change it to, change the map to a tundra style. And all you do is just select this on the drop down menu and click apply landscape preset and it'll quickly apply uh, the new material to our landscape and now we have snow all over our landscape and you can notice by default that there's not any tessellation going on right now and we could see that by going up here to the wireframe mode and you can see that there's not a whole lot of polygons on our landscape. And because this is Unreal Engine 5, we have to use virtual height field mesh in order to do that. And we have a preset right here in the performance preferences. This is number six right here. It says use virtual height field mesh plus RVT. That's runtime virtual texture. And you just click that and click apply landscape preset. And since we're on the Tundra, that'll just switch it over to using virtual height field mesh. And now we have actual polygons in this placement on our uh, on our snow and on our uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all these menus on our snow and on our uh, slopes and all of that and we could see that now there's a whole lot of more polygons going on with our terrain and now we can check out let's check out uh, the desert preset. Because we're using this preset six, we automatically have a virtual height field mesh enabled on this. We'll go back to the island preference. Just let it build the grass up here. And this is the island with uh, geometry. And there's geometry and the dirt on the hills, all of that. Now with these performance preferences, we have, it goes from one to six here in Unreal Engine 5. And basically what this is, is this is the most costly one, this virtual height field mesh, because we're, we're cranking out a whole lot of polygons here on our terrain. And if you go down further, the performance uh, gets better and better, but the visuals become less and less because well, you have you have to sacrifice features for visuals. So this is this is without the virtual height field mesh, and as we go down, the presets will become uglier and uglier until finally, we're just using uh, runtime virtual texturing to to do all of this. But you can notice there's less details going on, and as we go down, there'll be even more uh, or even less details than there was before. And see, this is the low quality preset where it says low quality here. And it basically disables one of the layers and several other things. And we have a splat map version of the terrain and all of the all of these uh, different presets work with any of the uh, any of the biomes here. 
what this is, is it gives us a good place to start tweaking the material and this is the lower performance preset for the desert for example and there's a lot less uh, detail than if we go up here to the final one yeah bas basically I think you get the gist it's uh, this just allows us to have a good starting point to uh, start tweaking our material instance that's applied to the terrain and we could swap out textures and all of that but um since this is already set up on this map and ready to go let, let's go ahead and start from scratch let's let's create a brand new map add the lighting and all of that and i'll show you how to set up virtual height field mesh on a new map first thing we're going to want to do is go up here to file click new level click empty level we're not going to save this we don't really need to and then we got our, our blank map here i'm going to go over here to content browser and here in the blueprints folder first let's get some lighting going on go over here to this world lighting bp and just drag that in and what this does is it gives us all kinds of different uh, things like exponential height fog volumetric clouds directional lighting sky lighting sets it all up for us right out of the box so we'll just add that in and now we'll add in that blueprint that we were clicking on before that magic map material bp v2 and that's that's here in this blueprints folder is where we find it and just drag that into the world and now we are ready to create our terrain so we go up here to where it says select mode landscape and since I already have a uh, this isn't really a terrain generator tutorial and everything I'm gonna use this height map that I have already uh, imported that I've tried out beforehand just to make sure everything works but um we'll just go ahead and use that one import it in actually here let's drag that in again we'll just use the height map that i have already imported now i'll go ahead and put this height map in the um in the in the description so you guys can download it too and check it out if you wanted to use it for whatever but anyways we're going to import this in. i got it set to 40 for the height just so that it's less steep going on and I'll just import. And this is just a regular way to import a landscape into Unreal Engine. Now that we have our terrain here, the mountains and everything, we're going to go back to that blueprint that we had. Let's go out of landscape mode first. Go to select. Click on that. Now, what you want to do, since this is a brand new terrain, you want to click this Prepare New Landscape button right here. And if you're using World Partition, you, wanted to, you want to toggle that on first. But since we're not using World Partition, we're going to leave that off. And you notice that there's a uh, warning here. It says Landscape is not yet initialized. And it tells us to go up to the Paint menu and apply the, uh, the Auto Layer. So go up here to the Paint menu. And that's the only option here is this auto layer. You just want to click the plus icon. Click weight blended. We'll just save that wherever and we'll save it in the default location. And what this this is basically a proxy material. It makes it so that the landscape auto layer is applied really, really fast because there's like minimal instructions in this. So it just speeds up the entire process. Now it says your new terrain and apply the landscape preset we'll go up here to select again and we'll just follow the directions here and click on this magic map material bp and just click this apply landscape preset button like it says right here and now we have a fully textured terrain with our island pe preset going on it already has grass and uh slopes and everything but you'll notice again virtual high field mesh isn't set up just yet so that's what we're going to do next because if you just went over here and went to performance preference and you clicked on six it's going to give you a warning because uh you you have to actually set up virtual high field mesh if it's a new uh map so this is what the warning says 
just basically it gives you directions on what we're going to be going over here in this video next so go back to the content browser go to blueprints folder we're going to find it says rvt plus vhfm setup widget and that's right here so we just right click that click on this run editor utility widget and that's going to pop up this window right here and if this is your first time using height field mesh in your project you're going to want to follow this these settings right here and it's going to tell you to enable a setting in project settings it says enable virtual texture support And then since th this, this project is already set up when you download it straight from the marketplace. And that goes for the, the plugin it's talking about right here too. Yeah, this is already enabled. So we'll just continue on with this setup. You just click this setup landscape for RVT and what that did is added two RVT color or RVT volumes to our world, a height one and a color one. And it set up the bounds and everything. And now you just click setup landscape for VHFM. And this is gonna do a weird thing here. It's gonna turn our, our landscape completely invisible because it's it's basically making it to where that is no longer needed for our world so just the virtual height field mesh can uh, be displayed and it tells you what to do next in order to bring it back so that it looks normal it says after pressing the button so so we just go over here click on the virtual height field mesh like it says go to the details panel and go to this drop down and click on the height volume and that's going to apply the height volume the rvt to our world and now we have virtual height field mesh and you can just go ahead and close this window now we have displacement in our world and you can add full I'm gonna crank up this camera speed you can add foliage and um, trees and everything you want to this landscape Next, we're going to be going over how to tweak some of these perimeters. Because I don't know if you can see, it's a little less detailed here in the, here in the distance. And the way to, to change that, I mean, it costs a little bit more performance, but you can do it anyways, if you'd like. Uh, click on this virtual height field mesh. And if you come down here to where it says LOD distribution and take that from a two, to a three and, and watch watch these this area over here when I when I turn that on see everything becomes a lot more crisp and I don't know if you can tell in the video here we'll, we'll change it back here it makes it a lot less detailed and what this is doing if you notice the uh, wireframe over there in the distance basically increasing the polygons in the distance. And you, you can use any value, really, if you wanted to just crank it up a little bit, turn it to 2.5, 2, 1, and this the 1 makes it really undetailed, but, but increases performance on it. So we'll take that to a 3 and leave it on that since uh, this machine can handle it. We'll just run around here for a second, check out everything. So another thing that you can do with virtual height field mesh is increase the uh, resolution of the texturing, which I don't really advise doing that, increasing it in Unreal Engine 5 because it's already pretty costly in Unreal Engine 5. For some reason, uh, runtime virtual texturing in general is just a little bit more expensive in UE5 uh, than it was in UE4. But anyways, we can change the resolution and we'll go, we'll find a nice spot to, to look at here. So we can find the, uh, see the difference in texturing. So we go up here to RVT volume color. And if you open, if you click on this and open up this virtual texture, just double click it. 
it's going to bring up a window like this. And you can see the virtual texture size is 1 million textiles. So that's basically, it equates to like 1 million pixels. And if you turn up this 2 to a 3, now it's 2 million texels. Doubled it or quadrupled it or whatever. Um, so this is, and again, I don't know if you can tell by the video, but you can uh, see a difference in texture and quality. And if we turn it down, this is 512, okay. If you turn it down, there is a slight bit of blurring that goes on, but this makes the runtime virtual texture a lot more performant, a lot more performance friendly. So there's not much difference here. If you're using a larger terrain, uh, you may have to keep this on too, but I would advise just turn it down if, if you're running into any problems with runtime virtual texturing flickering while you're running around or anything like that. I just advise to turn this down to a one instead of a two. But we're gonna leave it on a two for this uh, tutorial just so I can show you guys. Last thing here, you can change the uh, change the polygon count up close of the uh, virtual or virtual high field mesh you just click on this RVT volume height and open up its virtual texture and we'll turn on wireframe mode here so I, so you can see what I'm talking about we'll get in close here and if you change this one of these values let's change any of these values increase the size except for this last one that's for something else but if you uh, turn it up it increases the polygon count up close you can't really go really high with it if your machine can't handle it it'll just bug out it'll it'll just see if I go all the way up to 512 here is it's no longer showing virtual high field mesh at all so we'll, this is the highest that it can go on my machine Oh, that's a little higher right there. But yeah, that's way, way, way overkill for the polygons. I don't know why somebody would use that many polygons, but it's there just if you wanted to. And it's making my machine run really slow now. And it's bugging out here and uh, see it twitching and everything. So we're going to turn that back down to 10. This is what it was on by default. And if for whatever reason, same thing that goes with the collaring one, uh, for any reason, if you're running into issues with performance or the RVT acting weird, just turn this down a little bit. Or if you start getting artifacts and the, uh, the height field and everything, just turn that down. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. In the next tutorial that uh, I'm going to be uploading here, here soon. Actually, we'll turn that back down. It's, that was set in something else, wasn't it? It's still chugging. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, in the next tutorial that we're going to be going over, how to change and swap out the textures and everything within this within the material instance itself and all I did was click on this landscape double click this landscape material and it's gonna pull up all of the settings that we got and we got a whole lot of different settings in the next one we're gonna be going over texture swapping with mega scans changing the coloring the displacement all of that stuff in the next tutorial Thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped explain some getting started stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And that this hype map is in the uh, description of this video. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.